I'm closing my eyes. I would say it's about two pounds, somewhere between two pounds and two and a half. Two pounds. Because of all the excitement of getting a new toy, I started shooting right away. But this is what I should have done first. So anyway, uh, today I am going to do this. The first thing I have to do is, of course, remove the grip. And there are three screws for trigger adjustment. The top one is for adjusting trigger slack. The second one for adjusting let off timing. And the one in here, that's for adjusting trigger pull weight. So first, what I do is adjusting trigger free play. First thing I need to do is back out screw one, two, all the way out. Screw one, screw two, back them out all the way. By the way, grip screw is four millimeter. These trigger adjustment screws are two millimeter. Then turn in this screw, screw three, until it is flush with cross member. Now there should be a lot of free play. Now what I need to do is turn screw one in all the way until all the free play is removed. Okay. Screw one tightened. 
so now there is no free play. Then what I need to do is loosen up screw one a little bit and then move the trigger and tighten again and repeat that until the trigger settles down. You know, when you are actually doing this, you can tell by the resistance it's reaching to the point that you have taken up all the slack. And then tighten screw one, quarter turn. Then next, adjust let off timing. So to do this, I need to partially cock the gun. Just release the top cover, bridge, open the bridge, and then close. Then slowly pull the trigger. At this point, there should be no second stage. So with this particular gun, the trigger actually did disengage the sear, but this may or may not happen, depending on your pistol. Now, since trigger actually released the sear, I have to recock this again, and then slowly turn the screw number two in until either it reaches to the end of its travel or the sear is released. So partially cock again and then slowly turn number two screw. Actually, I think you want to see the sear. Slowly. Slowly turning. Okay, so with this particular gun, the screw number two did reach to the end of its travel without releasing the sear. So turn back one full turn. So turn back. One full turn. Okay. Now test the trigger. Slowly pull the trigger. I should be able to feel the detent of the second stage.
here. Yes, now we move on to the next stage, which is fine-tuning the second stage trigger travel. Now, the purpose of this adjustment is making the second stage travel as short as possible. But we don't want reaching to the second stage and let off happening at the same time. Turn back the screw number two out, half turn at a time, and then test the trigger until I reach to the point that the sear is released before trigger reaching to the second stage. And then turn the screw in again. Now this time quarter turn, quarter of a turn at a time until I reach to the point that let off happens after reaching to the second stage. And then turn back out again. This time only one eighth of a turn at a time. So you get the idea. Uh, basically, we repeat turning the screw in and then back out a little bit. And then turning in just a little bit. And then back out just a little bit to get the, how do I say, to find the best point. So let's try to do it now. So first do it half turn. Turn back out number two. Half turn out. So this is half turn. Okay, and then sear should be released before trigger reaches to second stage. Okay, now trigger released the sear before reaching to the second stage. Now we turn the screw number two in. This time quarter of a turn at a time until the second stage comes back. So let's do it.
Okay. Now, we back out number two screw again. This time, only one eighth of a turn at a time. Oh, sorry about this uh, noise. Just turned on the AC. So one is like this. A little bit more. A little bit more. Okay, now the second stage is gone, so I have gone too far. So I just have to turn back, no, I have to turn in just a little bit, one eighth of a turn, like this. I will turn out just a little bit more. First stage. Reaching to the second stage. Yeah. I will turn out just a little bit more. Yes. Now, the second stage trigger travel is adjusted. Perfect. Sorry about AC's compressor noise. There is nothing I can do about it. So the final adjustment is trigger pull weight. Turn this screw in, we'll make trigger pull 
heavier. Back out will make trigger pull lighter. So it's 7.40. I have only 20 more minutes. The sun goes down at around 8. Let's measure the current trigger pull weight. Four pound. Four pound, 12 ounce. Uh, okay. I guess I don't have to do this, you know, five times. Delete. I will make it a little bit lighter. But I don't want to make it a hair trigger. I'm closing my eyes. I would say it's about two pound, somewhere between two pound and two and a half. pound two pound yep I adjusted trigger pull weight. Uh, what I normally do is I close my eyes and just try it. Uh, make it lighter and lighter and lighter until I feel like this is what I like. It. And then I measure it. I guessed it before measuring it. I thought it's around two pound to two and a half pound. And I measured it and it's just about two pound. Two pound zero zero. That's how I set up my bronze stars trigger pull, trigger pull weight. And let's see what kind of grouping I can make with this setup. And I will make a video. Thanks for watching.